हेलो डियर टॉपर्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वन क्वेश्चन थ्री मार्क्स वेरी सिंपल यूनिट आवर एनवायरनमेंट बेसिक नॉलेज इज एनफ टू स्कोर थ्री आउट ऑफ थ्री मार्क्स इन दिस चैप्टर सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड द यूनिट इन डिटेल इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो it's more than enough to score three out of three marks in this unit so do watch the complete video importantly do subscribe the channel and also join my whatsapp channel the link is in the description don't miss out any videos what i have posted watch the complete video target 80 video series complete it so that you'll be able to score good marks in your examination so the unit our environment very simple chapter to score 3 to 4 marks so directly the question will be asked so what is an ecosystem ecosystem consists of biotic components comprising what living organism and abiotic components comprising what physical factors like temperature rainfall wind soil minerals etc definition of ecosystem examples for natural ecosystem and human made artificial ecosystem you should know definition of and definition of producers all green plants and certain bacteria which produce food by process of photosynthesis are called what producers then the definition of consumers organism which consume the food produced either directly from the producers or indirectly by feeding on other consumers are called as what consumer so definition of producers and consumers is important and uh, very important question the role of decomposers the role of decomposers the decomposers are the microorganisms what what they do they break down the dead remains waste products of organism this uh, decomposers break down the complex organic substance into simple inorganic substances break down of complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance that go into the soil and that are used up once more by the plants this are this is the role of decomposers what happens if there are no decomposers right that's a very important question what has what happens when the decomposers are not there the complex uh, organic substance will not be broken down into what simpler inorganic substance and the recycling of this uh, substances will not take place next very important uh, concept food chains and food webs <coughs> series or organism taking part at various biotic levels form what food chains you can see a food chain here right there are many examples are there and the examination they they can ask you to form a food chain having three tropic level or uh, four tropic levels you can give an example the level of the food chain forms a what tropic level tropic level the each level of the food chain is called as what tropic, tropic level. level the autotrophs are the producers are always at the first tropic level the autotrophs are the producers the pl green plants and the bacteria certain bacteria are always at the first tropic, tropic levels level. they use the solar energy and by the process of photosynthesis they prepare the food herbivores or the primary consumers come at the second small carnivores come at the secondary at the third secondary consumers are the third the large the larger carnivores or the tertiary consumers form the what fourth tropic level and very important concept you know you should know that the energy level increases 
the energy level decreases from one tropic level to another tropic level. The green plants in a terrestrial ecosystem capture 1% of the energy of the sunlight. What is the percentage of energy of sunlight captured by the producers? How much it is? 1%. Whereas, next 1% of energy captured by the first level of the producers to the next level 10% is transferred that is 10% of 1% is transferred to the next level next tropic level next again to the next level only the 10% of the available energy is transferred only the 10% of the energy is transfer, uh, transferred from one tropic level to another tropic level whereas only 1% of the uh, energy of the sunlight is captured by the producers. So you can expect one MCQ based on 10% law. So the food, instead of straight line food chain, you can see here, instead of straight line food chain, the relationship can be shown as a series of branching lines. That is called as food web. Food web. That is called as what? Food, food web. web. You can see the food web here. And also you should know that the flow of energy in the tropic level is unidirectional. The flow of energy from one tropic level to another tropic level is what? It is directional. That means the energy that is captured by the autotopes does not revert back to the solar input. Right? In the same way, what are the energy input which is taken by the herbivores from the plants cannot be given back to the autotopes. The energy level from one tropic level to another tropic level decreases. What is the percentage of energy transfer happens? Only the 10% of the only the 10 percent of the energy available. So you should also know that sometimes the harmful chemicals enter our bodies through the food chain. But the chemical, the harmful chemical level increases from one tropic level to another tropic level. This, this process or this phenomenon is called as what? Biomagnification. It is called as biomagnification. The energy level from one tropic level to another tropic level decreases whereas the harmful chemical from one tropic level to another tropic level increases. increases. This is called as what? Bio Biological magnification. So use of uh, pesticides and the other chemicals to protect our crops from diseases and pests, these chemicals are either washed down to the soil or into the water bodies from this tropic level. Again what happens? It is observed by the plants and it is transferred to the next tropic level. So as the humans occupy the top level in any food chain, the maximum concentration of these chemicals are accumulated in our body. This phenomenon is called as what? Biological, Biological magnification. magnification. The next important is ozone layer. How the ozone layer is getting depleted? Ozone is a molecule formed by the three atoms of oxygen. Right? What is ozone? It is a molecule formed by three atoms of oxygen. Ozone is a deadly poison. However, at the higher levels of the atmosphere, ozone performs an essential function. It, uh, it shields the surface of the earth from the harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. It acts as a barrier between the sun and the earth. It protects us from the what? Harmful ultraviolet radiation. The UV radiation is highly damaging to organism. For example, it can cause skin cancer in human beings. How ozone is produced? Ozone at the higher levels of the 
atmosphere is pro is nothing but is a product of uv radiation acting on oxygen molecule right yes or no yes, oxygen molecule splits into o plus o again it reacts with oxygen molecule to form o3 right important question how ozone is formed ozone is formed by the action of uv radiation on the oxygen molecule with chemical reaction you should write so there is a depletion of ozone layer because of the use of synthetic chemicals like cfcs which are in what refrigerants and also in the fire extinguishers nowadays uh, it is mandatory that uh, cfc free refrigerators should be manufactured why because cfcs are the reasons for ozone depletion hence it should be banned so managing the garbage waste we produce this is uh, you can expect a value based question based on this concept and also the difference between biodegradable and non biodegradable based on this uh, difference between uh, two mark question or definitely one mark question on uh, biodegradable and non biodegradable the substances which can be broken down into the simpler molecules is called as biodegradable non biodegradable are the substances which cannot be broken down into the simpler substances are called as non biodegradable example for biodegradable is what the vegetable waste the waste of animals etc whereas non biodegradable it is plastics pvc pipes so these are the important concepts from this uh, unit our environment uh, definitely you should study this chapter easily you can score 3 to 4 marks